In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an awesome digital business card where you can send clients and allow clients to share it using Elementor Page Builder. Let's get started. To get started with creating our digital business card, of course, you're going to need WordPress and Elementor installed on your WordPress website. Let's jump in and get started. So I'm going to jump into pages and over here in pages, I'm going to add a new page. I'm going to call that page Design Hackers, which is my YouTube channel. This is a good opportunity to request from you guys if you like the content on the channel to subscribe and support my channel. Over here in the title, I'm going to put in Design Hackers and I'm going to click Edit with Elementor. Jump right in and get started working. The first thing we're going to want to do while creating a digital business card is eliminate our header or footer or page title, whatever we have. So in settings, I'm going to change the page layout to Elementor Canvas. C click Publish to save and that will eliminate all of those. The next part is I'm going to start creating my cover image for my digital business card. So I'm going to add a single column and I'm going to add a background image to the column. So style and over here I'm going to choose classic and upload an image. So let's go to upload files, select and on my desktop I have two images going to upload these and this is my cover image I'm going to select it and click insert media now you can see this is very small right now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to jump into the widgets pane into spacer and I'm going to drag that inside and you can push up the size over here the next thing is to constrain the width of the column so I'm going to jump into edit section right click edit section and over here in content width, I'm going to change that to 500. Now you can see this is starting to look more like it should look in a mobile device, which is what digital business cards are used for. Over here, we need to set up the background image for the column. So I'm going to click on the column again. And over here in position, I'm going to change that to center center. The size I'm going to change to cover so it fits better and that's about it you can maybe play with the position maybe top center will be better and then the logo you can see it better maybe you're going to want to give your spacer more height so you can see that better next part is adding the logo to add the logo i'm going to add a new section so once again click the plus single column and before Continuing with each section, I'm going to push down the content width to 500 just so it constrains it to the same width as the cover image. In the widgets pane, drag inside an image and select an image. Let's go for the logo. Looking good. Inside of style, we can push down the width. It's better to work with pixels rather than percent. And that looks awesome. Let's add a border because this is a white logo and with a width of one and we can curve our edges just so they look rounded over here maybe let's add a box shadow as well just to pop that out move it a little bit horizontally a little bit vertically push up the blur and lighten the opacity over here in the alpha channel looking good Next part, I'm jumping into the column settings inside of advanced, I'm going to take off the padding and I want to make my logo above my uh, cover image. So I'm going to push the margin, first of all, on link and top, I'm going to give a negative value over here. Perfect. That looks awesome. Great, we're going to start with the call to action buttons. Oh, excuse me, before that, I need to add a title and a subtitle. So we can do this in the same column. I'm just going to drag inside a heading, 
center that and I'm going to call it design hackers and let's add a text editor over here for the subtitle inside of style we can center that as well and I'm going to write over here web design come unity perfect everything looks awesome inside of the column layout we can determine the spacing between each widget so over here maybe I'll change that to five just to give less spacing I'm gonna click on the design hackers title and change the text color to black great so everything's starting to look okay I'm going to add another column but this time I'm going to split the section into two columns, push down the content width again, and in the widgets pane, this time I'm going to select a icon box for the call to action buttons. Inside of the icon box in view, I'm going to choose framed, and I'm going to take the content off, and over here I'm going to give a title for each one of the icons. So for example, this one is going to be for a Facebook icon. You can choose the Facebook icon. And that looks awesome. Let's jump into style, see what we can change over here. So we, have, we can push down the spacing a little bit. And the size also is really big. Let's make that smaller. The padding is okay. Inside of content, typography, I'm gonna push down the size of the title over here and inside of icon I'm going to change the primary color to black same thing in the content color to black perfect so that looks awesome I'm going to copy this and paste it in the second column and what I think I'll do I'll maybe add let's just duplicate this so we can see how it looks looks great let's view in mobile view right now so mobile view and now you can see all of these are stacked which we don't want so I'm going to jump into the column section column width column options and change the column width to 50 and do that for all of the columns so that will be looking more like it was on desktop and I want to make sure that everything fits in nicely Okay, great. So this top part is a bit big, so I'm going to push down the spacer a little bit. So let's move that to like 160 pixels maybe. Great, and check again on mobile. Now the reason I didn't do this only on mobile view is because I want it to be the same on, a, on the desktop and on the mobile view. So awesome, this looks like a cool little uh, digital business card. Now I'm going to change the content and change the links of each of these. So first of all, Facebook is okay. Let's take the link. So we have a Facebook group. Let's click on content. And in the link, I'm going to paste the link. Second one is going to be for the WhatsApp group where we send updates. Let's change the text over here. Bring over the link. Great. And let's continue to the YouTube channel. Subscribe to YouTube. Awesome. Put in the link and the last one is our Instagram perfect let's search for the Instagram icon and I'm going to paste the link over here now these buttons can do anything I mean if you have a phone number that you want people to call so you can put the, in the link TEL and double dot your phone number and that will just when people click it on mobile that will call you you can put your skype you can put your calendly link for people to uh, make a calendar schedule another cool little design hack that i wanted to show you is that if you want to take the um, 
colors of the brands and make each one of these buttons the brand color. I want to show you how awesome that is. So first of all, I forgot to change the label over here. Great. So I want to show you a new website that's called Brand Colors. And over here in the website, what it does, it allows you to find brand colors really, really fast and efficiently. So if I'm going to write Facebook, you can see this is the Facebook color. I click on the on that once it copies the hex color and now I can go in over here and change the primary color. Let's do it for all of these. So I want to show you how fast this is. So WhatsApp. WhatsApp has a couple of colors. I'm going to go for the light green, which is really popular style primary color paste that in let's go for youtube copy the red color click on the icon style primary color paste that in and the last one is instagram and you can copy any of these i'm going to go for this one click on the instagram icon style primary color and paste that inside awesome so i'm going to publish this and i think we're about done with the digital business card so the idea behind a digital business card is giving people one link instead of giving them like 10 or four links or it, it doesn't matter how many you can put over here as many icons you want and split this into as many rows and sections as you want but the idea is instead of telling people Come on and subscribe on YouTube, follow me on Instagram, like me on Facebook, and maybe join our WhatsApp group. You can send them one link and they'll decide how they want to interact with your business. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. If you did, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'm going to see you in the next video.